Hi, I'm Adrienne from Sew PDF. If you've ever wondered what a serger is and what it does, then you're about to find out. A serger, also known as an overlock machine, is a special sewing machine with a primary purpose. The purpose is to overlock the seams with these loops of threads. What this does is it gives it a professional look, look to it and it also prevents woven fabrics from fraying. The serger can be used with three threads or with four threads. Four threads will stitch two single lines, one at the bottom and one slightly above, plus the loops. A three thread will do just one line of stitches with the loops. The four thread is used mainly when you are sewing the seam at the same time as you are finishing it. The three thread is more often used when the actual seam is sewn on a regular sewing machine and then the edges are finished with the overlock stitch on the serger. A lot of sewing machines have an overlock function that is similar to a serger, but the main difference is that a serger includes a knife that actually cuts the fabric as you feed the fabric through making it the perfect width for your overlock. A sewing machine requires you to judge the correct distance yourself and feed it through accurately. A serger also has a setting called differential, which sewing machines typically don't have, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later. I'm going to cut off this previously serged edge to show you how it works. So here's that serge seam closer up. You can see it's got two straight rows of stitches and then the loops as well. So let's talk about thread. You can see here I've got the back of my serger showing, which is where the thread cones sit. So a, a regular sewing machine uses a standard spool of thread, whereas a serger uses these cones. They're designed to sit upright and allow the serger to feed it up through the guides and through the machine. They come in different sizes and some of the larger ones like these won't fit on all sergers. Some models will have all four cones side by side and there wouldn't be enough room for a large cone on each slot. There wouldn't be any room between them and they wouldn't fit. The type of needles recommended for your serger will vary depending on the model. My Janome model here says to use only HA-1SP needles, size 11 to 14. There are some special types of needles that are made just for sergers, but make sure to read your manual and see what type of needles it recommends. Most people find the most intimidating part of using a serger is threading it. Once it's ready to go, it's, pre it's a pretty simple machine to use. Sergers also have a number of settings to be considered in order to get the correct stitch. First, like a regular sewing machine, there is a stitch length. The location of this dial is going to vary depending on your model. Mine has a dial right here on the side and it shows the stitch length right here. Another setting is called differential. A serger has two sets of feed dogs, one at the front and one at the back. A sewing machine typically only has one set of feed dogs. Feed dogs are a series of metal ridges that grab onto your fabric and move it through under your presser foot. With a serger, it has the ability to have these two sets of feed dogs moving at different speeds. This gives you the ability to have the machine stretch out your fabric as it goes through or to gather it slightly. Generally, this feature is used most commonly to raise the differential when working with fabrics that tend to stretch out of shape really easily. This allows you to pull them in together a little bit as it goes through and prevent them from stretching out of shape. Finally, you have the tension settings. So like a sewing machine, you've got tension on each thread. With a sewing machine, the tension is on the upper thread and then on the bobbin through the bobbin case, typically. With a serger, all of the tension wheels are up on the top of the machine. So the question a lot of people ask is, do I need a serger? And the answer is definitely not. You can do just about everything that a serger does on a sewing machine. Maybe not quite as nicely or as quickly, but a sewing machine has essential features that a serger can't do, such as hemming, top stitching, sewing a zipper, anything that 
requires sewing away from the edge of the fabric. Basically anything that isn't a seam. Sergers are designed simply to make seams look better and to sew them more quickly and efficiently. Due to the advantage of the differential feed with the two sets of feed dogs, serge seams tend to be a bit stretchier than stretch seams sewed on a sewing machine. As you can see, this stretches no problem. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more sewing tutorials from SewPDF. If you have any questions or tutorials that you might like to see from us in future, please leave a comment or send us a message.